to another episode and today we're back in the basement again um, changing it up a bit still and we're talking about one of my favorite cars I know you must think god how many favorite cars do you have but this one really really is one of my favorite cars which is a Ferrari F12 TDF so why is this one of my favorite cars okay so I'm a fan of front engine Ferraris um, I love front engine Ferraris because they suit my lifestyle so I like to have a car with a boot a bit of room Front engine Ferraris are normally always V12, um, which I prefer a V12 engine to a V8 engine, naturally aspirated. And the fact that it's 770 brake horsepower and 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, that's a reason why as well. Let's start from the beginning. What's special about TDF? Well, TDF um, doesn't quite hold the name in Ferrari as what GTO would, would hold, but it's still a significant title to have. Um, so basically in the mid 50s, 1956, Ferrari made a car called a Ferrari 250 GTB, GT Berlinetta. And it went to France and raced in a 10 day race, which was Tour de France. Don't get it confused with the cyclist race. Lance Armstrong was not in this race. Um, and it won. And it was, you know, it was a big deal for Ferrari to win that race. At the time, Ferrari in the 50s, you know, they were dominating um, motorsport and um, it won the race so they sort of the variants after the early models they sort of nicknamed the TDF um, the 250 TDF as I call it as most people call it um, the design changed quite significantly through the early cars to the later cars the later cars are the most beautiful classic car you have ever seen they're just absolutely incredible and what this car does is take a lot of its traits from that car into today's modern design which i think is incredible now the f12 um is a front engine 720 brake horsepower car um really capable really dangerous rear wheel drive an absolute beast of a v12 ferrari an incredibly masculine looking car i think more masculine more than its um successor which is the 812 Superfast. Um, and what they've done with the TDF is just enhance everything. They made the car over 100 kilos lighter. They put 60 horsepower more into it. The design is just probably one of the most masculine cars I've ever seen. It just is like a muscle car. The sound, the drive, I mean, everything about a TDF is just an occasion. It really is a special occasion. So they make this fantastic car and they say, right, only 799 of our best customers around the world are allowed to buy it. Only 50 from the UK will ever be produced. Only 50 UK cars. It makes it incredibly sought after. So as soon as the cars hit the market, bang, they doubled. They went from 400,000 to 800,000 in an instant. I remember selling the first one, one of the first one of these cars to hit the market and it sold overnight for 100% more than what the car cost. They only went to Ferrari's elite customers. If you think about it, only 50 customers in the UK got a UK car. And this car is a, a tailor-made specification. Um, very unique to the owner. All of his cars were the same color, which is finished in blue posi with the NART racing stripe, painted racing stripe. So NART stands for North American Racing Team. Um, all of their cars were the same color which was this NART blue. They've even got their own blue in, in Ferrari. So it really pays homage to the, 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 the historic line of racing Ferraris. And so it should, because that's what the whole model is based on. The, the stance alone on this car, you know, the, as you see, it just parked. It, 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 you, it looks fast, you know, it looks like a brute. It's, it's wide. It's long, it's, it's aggressive, it's aggressive look. It's got the sort of shark's mouth um, at the front. And you know, for me, it ticks absolutely every box. I mean, it's, it's an expensive car. We all wish there was a bit less money, but um, it, they are what they are. And they've come down now to a price where they're, they're very realistic um, compared to what they were. I mean. In the end, at the peak, some of these cars changed hands for a million pounds. Um, and now they're just sort of, you know, I mean, this car, for example, is 650,000. 
There's one owner from new, so it's only ever had the one owner, one driver. 5,000 miles. Um, all the servicing is free with Ferrari for the first seven years. So it's obviously full Ferrari service history. Um, it's incredible color combination. So it's, it's all the blues, basically. Blue posi, not blue stripe, blue scuro interior, which is like a very dark, bluey gray color. And then the pinstripes down the um, down the nart stripe complement the tailor-made stripe that goes along the seat. Um, so as you can tell, the person who spec this car, this wasn't his first rodeo. Like he um, he known his way around the Ferrari factory, I'm sure. A standard standard um, road, normal sort of mass-produced Ferrari F12. Like I say, is. 3.1, 3.2 seconds, 0 to 60, 720 brake horsepower. Um, I've done a lot of miles in, in F12s and I can tell you some good and some bad stories. And um, they're just the ultimate GT touring car. They are the ultimate. And the fact that Ferrari have taken that and just absolutely enhanced it in every single way possible, the steering, the handling, the power, the weight. I mean, it, it, it's just, it's such a big car. You would, you would think that it couldn't, it couldn't get round a circuit. You know, it, it, it's so big, you'd think it would just be so, so much oversteer, it'd be unbelievable. But a lot of that is true. Um, but at the same time, it's just, it's just an absolute weapon. And it's the sort of car that, you, you know, you can just chuck your golf clubs in the back and you know, go away for the weekend. And you've got a limited edition, special V12 front engine Ferrari. With a TDF, you can, they're all, they all should be very bespoke. Not a lot of them are, because a lot of them were bought by owners, they call them flippers. Owners that buy the car know there's gonna be 350, 400,000 pounds profit instantly. So they go Rosso Corsa Red, black interior, upgraded wheels, whatever, just saleable spec. You know, the, the kind of spec that appeals to the masses. But when you get a car like this, it, the guy spent a lot of time, went to the factory, spent a lot of time in specking the car to how he has his cars. All of his cars are blue posi. And um, spec them, the, the NART racing stripe, which is painted. Um, the, all the colours, the plaques inside the, the car, even around the air vents of the car is a special red pinstripe that goes round, complements the rev dial. Um, you know, he, he really, really thought about the spec on this car and they all should be that kind of personalisation because it's going to Ferrari's best customers. But like I say, it's the same, it's the same story on, on, on any car. Um, there's there's F12 TDFs and there's F12 TDFs and you get some, I mean, I've, I've seen some in the most beautiful combinations, specs, um, stuff that, you know, don't, doesn't appeal to, to, to mass audiences, but looks absolutely fantastic. And that's what, that's what you're looking for. It's a special car. A special car should be in a special spec. You know, at any one time, there might be three, two, three, four for sale in the UK. Um, how many are for sale at a realistic price? That's a better question. Um, but it's it's all about it's all about personalisation and what what you look for in a car. I think it would be such a shame to have a basic, boring spec special Ferrari. I mean, if you look at um, you look at Hugh Grant, who's got one of these cars. And his car is a wonderful spec. Um, it's, it's a silver with a with a, a blue. Instead of having a stripe that comes down the, the middle, they have a stripe that goes horizontally against it. Um, so that that's quite cool. Um, Gordon Ramsay has one, very very personalised. Um, one of my friends has a beautiful black car. The whole car is black. Just around the mouth is a red pinstripe, which looks really cool. These are all what I call you know, special TDFs, including this car. Um, and that's that's how I think they should be. I mean, I'm probably a bit biased because I'm like an F12 TDF's biggest fan. Um, but the, the noise is incredible, the looks are incredible. They drive, I mean, you know, 
you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to push that because you definitely get bitten as you can see uh, a ferrari f12 tdf really has a a place in my heart but as someone who buys and sells these kind of thing i can't let it get in my heart it has to keep it in my head so if you are interested in this car or any other car that we have in stock please visit our website which is www.tomhartley.com follow us on instagram or subscribe to our youtube channel um, catch you next time for a very very special video